and welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is episode 260 and I have got so many, so many acquisitions this week. It, it's filling up the table. I'm filling, filming at my kitchen table because it's like literally piled all around me. Um, I will explain before I get started because I'm actually going to be showing some of my acquisitions as well as my finished objects and works in progress kind of together because some of them are kind of intertwined. So, um, yes, I had a Lion Brand order come in. So if you missed that video, it was Wednesday's video, you can click right here and that will take you over to it. Um, you'll hear some um, funny descriptions of one of the the yarns in particular, if you check out that video. Uh, but anyway, I had a Lion Brand yarn order come in, but I also went with a group of ladies from my church on a shopping spree up to uh, the Lancaster Ephrata area, and we went to a really cool store, which I will tell you about as I show you some of the items um, that I got. So, um, yeah, let's get started. First, I will get started with some works or some finished objects. So the first, and these are some of the items I bought at this particular store. Uh, it was up in Ephrata. It's called the Art of Recycle. And what it is, is it's a store where people have donated craft items. And then uh, the people that work there are all volunteers. And if you buy stuff, it goes as a donation towards their charity charities. So, um, yeah, they had all kinds of stuff and it, the supplies kind of come and go. So you never know what you're going to find. So the first thing I, I did, I bought some jewelry pieces for making like, well, I'll show you the jewelry first and I'll show you what I ended up with. I bought earring tops and these loops and see if I can get this to film right. I have a four pair of these earrings. So they're for Christmas. They have like a little pearls, the pearls I had and the yarn I had. So I crocheted, so if it'll focus real well, there we go. So I did like a double crochet and then I did a shell stitch in the white. The green is like a single crochet. The double crochet is the green and then like a shell stitch on the top to kind of give it a little curled edge. So I have a set of earrings. And these are going to be for our craft sale. I have four pair of the earrings. So the metal, the metal loops is what I bought and earring backs. Then I had one spare because it was like nine of these metal loops. So I had an extra keychain. So I made one without the pearl with just, just for a keychain. Then I also bought some more keychains. There's four of them here and I spent 25 cents. So yeah, really, really good deals. So I bought four of these so I can make four more keychains. They won't look like that. Um, I might crochet something that maybe looks like a Christmas tree or something. I haven't quite decided, but it's going to be something and it's going to be put on to, um, yeah, onto the, cro onto the, keychains. Then I'll show you some of my other works in, well not works in progress. I keep trying, I'm anxious to show works in progress apparently. I have finished objects. So if you're looking at this and going, Katrina, you've shown us this before. I did, but originally this hat was a beanie and it only went up to right about here and it did not sell at the craft fair. So I had some yarn left over. So I went and undid the stitches uh, which were just like the decreases for the top of the hat. And I made it about two and a half to three inches longer. So now it's a little bit more slouchy. And this actually has like a mock, well, it's not a mock cable. It has a cable in it. It's like a two over two cable here. So I really like this hat and I love the colors, the jewel tones. If it doesn't sell, it's going to become mine. And then I bought pom-poms, which you can see here. And where's my pom-poms? I will show you. Where's my pom-poms? I lost my pom-poms. I found the pom-poms. Okay. 
Then I got these pom-poms. This is a bag, I believe, of 16, yeah, 16 pom-poms. They are faux fur, they come in different colors. These are more natural colors. I got these on Amazon if you're interested. I think I paid 12 something for them. I think it was 12 something for them, um, which came out to a little less than a dollar a piece. So if you are interested, if you check my Amazon link down below, uh, that'll take you to my Amazon store where I have like my favorite crochet hooks, my favorite knitting needles, my favorite camera equipment. There's also a section on pom-poms. There is um, these pom-poms that I bought and there is also a, um, a link to pom-poms that are like all different colors. Now these pom-poms do not have snaps on them. What they have, let's see if I can find it. They have like a little elastic loop. Okay, here it is. They have a little elastic, like a hair, hair scrunchy type of elastic loop. Here, you can maybe see it. Right here. And if you pull it, it does um, get bigger. You can get your finger underneath it. So what I did with the hats, I will turn this inside out so you can see. I attached a button right here, and then I just put the pom-pom through the hole in the top, uh, you know, the little loop through the hole in the top and buttoned it onto the button in the back. So you can unbutton it, pull the pom-pom off, throw it in the wash, and put it back on again when you're done. So that is finished object number one. Finished object number two is another hat, and this is some yarn that I got at the Art of Recycle, and I do have a ball band. No, I don't have a ball band from this one. I don't know what this was, but it's, here's the rest of the skein. It is a type of a boucle. And you can see it's like kind of bumpy. So the only thing I did with this was basically double crochet because a pattern does not show up. I did crochet through the front post here uh, just to kind of give it some ribbing. And then I put another one of those pom-poms on with the button underneath. So that's number two. And these are all going for my craft fair. So this was yarn that I also got at that shop, The Art of Recycle. Their yarn was a dollar a skein. So I'm going to get at least another hat or two out of this because this is a huge, huge ball of it. Okay, so I don't know what this is. It is, like I said, kind of nubby. You can see there, it is a boucle. So, um, and I don't like to knit with boucle, but this is crocheting very easily up. Then lastly, I have another hat. And this is also, this one has kind of a dark black chocolate type of um, pom-pom, which I thought picked up the black that is in the hat really well. I, this is another one I really like. Um, so, and it, this is done the same as the blue one as far as it has just through the front post crochet around the bottom. So there is another hat. These are all kind of slouchy. And this yarn, the brown yarn that I just showed, I believe, I believe is this, which is Bernat Soft Boucle. The blue might be the same type of yarn because it looks very similar. It's kind of nubby, the same. So they both might be this. Uh, but the blue one did not have a label. So anyway, so that is, that's what I got as far as that goes. I have a little bit of the brown left over and so you can see it looks just like the blue. It has that, the nubby little bits on it. So I'm thinking that it's both the baby boucle from Burnett. I have a little bit of this left. I'm probably gonna make uh, like an ear ear wrap or ear warmer 
from what's left from here, uh, also for the craft sale. So now let's get on to things I am working on, which also happen to be, well, some of, one of them is uh, some more of the yarn that I got from the Art of Recycle. I am making yet another hat. This one I am knitting. And it's got a two by two rib. This is a six weight, I think, five or a six weight yarn. And this is Patton's Shetland Chunky Tweed. Again, it was a dollar a skein. It's a number five weight. And it does have a little bit of wool in this one. It's 72% acrylic, 25% wool, and 30% viscose. So this will be another hat. And let me see if I can find. Here's the here is the pom pom. Whoop. Here is the pom pom I'm putting with it. So and this one I really like too because the little bits of tweed that are in here are are different shades of blue. So I really like it. And here's what I've got left of that skein. So I don't know how well the little bits of blue, there, it's kind of a navy color blue and there is some brown in it too, but there's like little, little, little bits of like a medium color blue in there too. So yeah, I really like this one as well. Now my next work in progress, I have several works in progress going on is the Daria shawl and that is this is a free pattern and here it is it's like a solid it's asymmetrical and like in her picture the dark blue is solid garter stitch and the lighter color in here is like a lace and I have not done a whole lot more on this since last week last week I was through the dark section there you can see the lace and the garter. All I have gotten is these couple rows right here. Because I've been busy working on stuff for the craft fair, I was in a meeting. I thought I would have some time to work on this, and I kept getting a little sidetracked. So, um, yeah. So, there it is. So, not much progress on it at all. And I am knitting this with the hand-dyed ha hand dyed heaven from Lion Brand, which is discontinued. So, yeah, sadly. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's that. I have done some more work. In fact, when I went with the ladies from my church, I took this particular project with me and crocheted on it until it got too dark to be able to see. So I put a couple of inches on this. This is for a summer top. This is the yoke. And this particular pattern is from Expression Fiber Arts. It is called the Kalaheo. I got it when it was a free pattern. They do, if you sign up uh, for their emails over at Expression Fiber Arts, every Friday they do a knit and crochet pattern for free. So that's when I got this. It's no longer a free pattern, but you can see here what it looks like. I wish I'd look like in like that in it, but I don't. Uh, but yes, it's it's a very nice, very nice pattern. Very simple. So that is what I'm working on with that one. And then lastly, we have I finished another week of the Flower Valley shawl. And this is I finished week eight. So this will be posted officially on Monday, but you guys get to see it ahead of time. So the section that is eight is the green and the yellow at the bottom. So here the whole thing is. This is gonna be such a big shawl. I mean, it is a big full-sized shawl now, as you can see, but I still have I just finished row 34, so I have six more rows of this to go, and then there's a border. So, yeah, this is going to be a nice, toasty, big shawl. And this is soft alpaca, so, yeah, it's going to be snuggly. I really want to get this done. I was going to hope to get it done for Thanksgiving. I don't think that's going to happen because it's, 
it is, well, you're watching this on Saturday, Thanksgiving's Thursday. We'll see, but I'm not getting my hopes up. But it would be nice if I could wear this for Thanksgiving. But anyway, there it is. If not, there's always next year, but it is very snuggly, it's very warm. And because it's a lightweight, it's a fingering weight shawl, it actually, for being so big, it bunches up pretty small, but because it's alpaca, it's gonna be nice and toasty warm. So those are the projects I've been working on. Um, I'm going to do the show and tell segment and then I'll come back and show you what else I got um, in my acquisitions this week. So with that, let's look at what you all have been working on this week. So other items that I got at the Art of Recycle, we went to some other stores too, and I got a really cute pocketbook for like $10.99. But anyway, I digress. So I got this yarn. Now this was in a skein. I started making a divine hat out of it, and it wasn't turning out right because this is a little bit thinner yarn. So I'm going to remake that divine hat with this yarn, but I'm going to be holding it two together. And this is the Baby Jacquards from Burnett. That's what this yarn is. And I love the colors in this too. The blues and the yellow, or the blues and the, the greens. So, and it's an acrylic, 100% acrylic. So, uh, oh no, it's not. It's 90% acrylic, 10% nylon. 
it's all fake okay there we go but yes yeah, so we have that one and again all of the yarn was a dollar a skein then we have this one which i really like too this is also a lightweight this is very soft this is premier nordica uh it says it's a self self pattern design so it's it actually when what that means is you can knit it just straight and it will actually make it look like it's a fair isle knit or a color work because here's what it looks like if i were to knit it it looks as if it is color work there is a shirt made out of it So yeah, knowing that it's going to do that, I might, I definitely will probably knit instead of crochet it because it would, I think it would look really good to have it, um, yeah, to have a pattern like this. It originally had 546 yards to it. I, I can tell looking at this that, and how loose the ball band is that, that it, you know, it has had some used out of it. This color is called Spearmint. It's Premier Yarns, like I said, and it's also anti-pilling. And let me see, 100% anti-pilling. Does it say what it's made of? I'm assuming it's an acrylic. Ah, here we go. It's a three weight machine wash and tumble dry, so it's gotta be acrylic. It doesn't say, that's really weird. Huh, how strange, usually it says, but I don't see anything in here anywhere that tells what the fiber content is. We're going with the theory that since it's anti-pilling, it is probably an acrylic, but it's really pretty. So this is called Spearmint. And again, it is Premier Nordica. So that was one. And then I got this, which is also, um, it's like a wrapped yarn. This is Bernat Baby Coordinates. And it's just white and it's an acrylic as well and you can see when I say it's wrapped it's like a let's see if you can see close enough there you go you can see it's just like a wrapped with another white white wrap on it so there's that and then lastly I bought this it did not have a ball band on it and I got it home and then it dawned on me what it was. This is Lily Sugar and Cream. I I should have known just from the feel of it um, because when I took it out of the bag, it was like, what was I thinking? I don't need more dishcloths. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this or not, uh, but one of the ladies that went with us is 90 years old um, and she still knits and she says, I like to make dishcloths. I might give this to her on Sunday and just say, um, I bought this and it is the cotton and she was looking for cotton. So I might give it to her and if she wants to make things, she can, but I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if she still knits or she was just talking about when she used to knit. So we'll find out. Otherwise this will just go in my cotton stash and eventually get made into more dishcloths. So that's what I got at the Art of Recycle. Now let's look at what I got, real quick recap of what I got from Lion Brand. I got four skeins of this, or four cakes. This is Cotton Fetty Blend, and the color is called Very Berry, and it's pr very pretty. It's got purple in it, so, you know. Those of us who love purple, it's got purple, you know, so we, how can we not like that? So I, I do like the color of this. So I have four of these. There's 350 yards or 320 meters per cake. So I should have plenty to make a sweater. I might even have enough, who knows, to make like a three quarter length sweater, um, you know, as far as the sleeves. So I got that. Then I bought four skeins of ice cream yarn and this color, is cookies and cream. To me, it reminds me of smoke because it's real soft, gentle grays mixed in with some whites. So I really like this. So that is ice cream, cookies and cream. And I have four skeins of this. 
and it is 394 yards per skein or 360 meters. So yeah, so like that. Then I got one skein of this. This is feels like butter. It's very, very soft. It reminds me of like a brushed cotton. And I got that to go with this. This is also feels like butter. Now I have some of this. This is like a cranberry color. I have, I think three or four, I have three or four skeins of this upstairs and I was short. I needed to buy a couple more to, to make a uh, sweater out of and I'm going to combine it with this so I can do like color work at the top and then make a short sleeve sweater from it. So each of these are 218 yards or 199 meters and this is a four weight. So this will be another sweater. I'm gonna have lots of sweaters to make, but I'm looking forward to that. I'm excited about making new wardrobes. So that is all of my acquisitions. Like I said, it's quite a bit. Oh, I actually have other things. I actually have some other stuff I forgot to show you that I got there. I also bought um, some pin backs. like what you attach to the back of a pin. So I, so I might crochet um, like Christmas trees or something Christmas-ish and put it on the back here. Um, I also made some um, dorset buttons that are like big. I need to make a couple more. And uh, there's a video on how to do that. Um, you can click the link here if you wanna go see that. Uh, dorset buttons are from Dorset, England. They were a industry back in the late 1700s into the 1800s and they are made with like metal rings that you then stitch with embroidery floss around and around and around and around and you make they're, they're really pretty and you can be very versatile with them you can put beads on them and all kinds of stuff well I did one where I made it on a big uh, metal ring and so I could put a pin on the back and make it like a brooch so um, I might do some more of those uh, to make to uh, sell at the craft fair as well. So I think that's I think that's all of the acquisitions. Now videos this week. Wednesday's video, actually it's video this week. Um, Wednesday's video is going to be part two of what am I going to do with my sweater. So part two is going to be my short sleeve sweaters that I've made over the years. Uh, that I have. What am I going to do with them once I lose the weight? Am I going to rip them apart? Am I going to uh, try to, you know, am I just going to give them away or am I going to try to fix them in some way, shape or form so I can still use them? So uh, that will be part two uh, if you want to check that out. And if you missed Thursday's video of this past week, that was just an update with my bariatric journey. Uh, so you can click over here if you want to check out that video if you missed and you're trying to keep up with what's going on with me. So um, yeah, that is the videos. But Wednesday is just going to be the, the part two of the sweater video. And then of course any other sales videos that are going on I will let you know about. So what is in our come and get it section this week? So we have Annie's. Annie's is running November daily deals. So make sure you check out Annie's each day. There's links to all of these sales down below in the description box. I do get a small commission out of any sales, which gets funneled back into the channel to help with acquisitions. It helps to do for giveaways, things like that. So there's Annie's. They also have a great clearance section. I've gotten some really nice yarns in their clearance. So check that out. Then there is uh, Knit Picks. Knit Picks is offering still until the 24th. They are offering up to 60% off of over 1,000 yarns. So um, it's not all of their yarns, but it's some of their yarns and it's different percentages depending on what yarn or what weight. So that, that link is right there as well. They also are running daily deals during uh, November. Be watching also for Black Friday sales. I will try to put something out if I find them. 
Uh, there are a lot of pre-Black Friday sales going on. If you live in the UK or something, you have no clue what I'm talking about. Here in the US, the day after Thanksgiving officially launches the Christmas shopping. So that would be Friday the 26th uh, is officially Black Friday. Then we have Cyber Monday and now any more Try, try to bump sales. They run it like the whole next week and apparently they're running it most of November too. So, oh well, we don't mind sales. Throw them our way. We don't care. So anyway, that is Nitpicks. Love Crafts is also running through November uh, up to 60% off of some of their yarns. Now, if you do click the Love Craft link down below, make sure you click the correct one. There is one for the US. There is one for Europe. Uh, because Lovecrafts is a UK based store. So the shipping is going to be different. So just make sure you click on the one that's correct for your country. And then lastly, Lion Brand this weekend is running their Wonder Wheel where you click on the link down below, a little wheel pops up, you click the spin button and it tells you what you're gonna win, which is up to, I believe it's up to 35% off. So those are the sales that I am aware of at this time. Anytime I find other ones, I will post short little videos. I'm expecting to have some come through for Black Friday. So just be watching for that one. And that's it for this week. So thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not clicked that red subscribe button down below, please do that as well, because as soon as we hit the next 100, we do another giveaway. And yeah, we're, we're about 35 people away from the next giveaway. So yeah, be watching that. So if you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button so it gets us a little bit closer to the next giveaway. And next week, I will officially have the information starting about the Jingle Along because it will be beginning on December 1st. So next Saturday, uh, which will be my birthday, the 27th. So anyway, uh, yeah, next Saturday, I will be giving you all the information about the jingle along and that will involve a giveaway as well so we have lots of giveaways coming up so that's it for this week thanks again for watching bye everybody